Yeah, my parents are immigrants and um, they immigrated from the UK to New Zealand and I immigrated from New Zealand to Australia at an early age. It was, it was a different time back then. I came to Australia when I was 14. My, my dad saw me off at the airport. He gave me $200. Um, I'd heard about the macadamia through other people while I was here in Queensland and it wasn't until my late teens that I cracked one open and tasted it and then I really understood what it was all about. I was given a piece of macadamia wood um, by a farmer. I opened up the grain and for the first time I'd actually seen the inside of the macadamia tree and it was absolutely beautiful. Often macadamia timber, when it's cut down in a usable form, like a large section of log by a farmer. In many cases it just cracks and falls apart so it doesn't sort of have a life beyond firewood. In fact, the large majority of my project is how can you know, we use that timber um, in, a, in a creative way and avoid this problem with cracking. So I took a very green stick of macadamia wood and I sliced it and it sliced it, peeled beautifully. I did that again and again and I ended up with a whole layer of veneers with some glue between them and, and put them over a simple form and pressed them and um, I revealed this beautiful curved shape and sand, I could sand it, I could oil it. Um, it, was, um, it was really quite a big breakthrough. A tree limb the size of my arm could produce around, you know, 30 to 40 handles easily. Um, that's a great return on investment. An idea for me will just be a line on a, on a uh, sketchbook and then I'll go straight into the workshop and create something with my hands. One of the things that I wanted to look at was how we can produce something unique here in, in Brisbane, Australia. And that paired up with this idea of the macadamia shell um, is, is what you know, sparked the idea of husk. So the macadamia shell is ground up into a fine powder um, and combined with resin and then um, pressed into a mould. And then um, the bowl is then hand finished or the item is then hand finished when it comes out of the mould. Husk bowls have these, you know, coloured glossy interiors, but the outside is satin and very easy to touch sort of material. Very similar to Bakelite from the 20s and 30s. The Husk Bowl has been described as a um, iconic Australian product. Uh, when Oprah Winfrey came out, she was gifted one. I don't know, I mean, it's, it's, it's an honour. So macadamias are a big part of Australia and they're becoming a big part of the world. Um, so, and they're a big part of my life too. In fact, I would say that Husk is my life's work.